I said, whenever we're given fractions to simplify, it simply means we want the fractions to appear in the simplest form possible. So all of these fractions given to us, we want them to appear in the simplest form possible. And these are your answers that have been submitted. So let us see all together now. Let's see how it goes. So number one, we have 30 over 84. We're going to look for numbers to divide it until no number can divide both the numerator and the denominator to go. So I can look, use small number, I can use big number, it doesn't matter. So let me use small numbers. Two can divide the two of them. Here I'm going to have 15 if I divide by 2. And at the bottom, I'm going to have 42. If I divide by 2, like 2 in 30 gives me 15, 2 in 84 gives me 42. 2 in 8 is 4, and 2 in 4 is 2. And again, 2 cannot go on the next stage. I can use 3. 3 can divide 15, and 3 can divide 42. So 3 in 15 gives me 5. And 3 in 42 gives me 14, which is 3 in 4 is 1. And 3 in, that's remainder 1, making 12 with this. So 3 in 12 gives me 4, and this is correct. Now let's go to the second one. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. Now the second one says 14 over... Um, 175 14 over 175 now if we look at 14 and look at 175 we're going to look for what number is going to divide 14 and it's going to divide 175 so what number do you think we can use to divide both of What number can divide 14 and can divide 175? Uh, uh, 7. 7. So, <clears throat> if we use 7, 7 is going to divide both of them. 7 in 14 gives me 2, and 7 in uh, 75, 175, in 17, 7 is 2, remainder 3. So in 35, in 35, that is 5. So your second answer is also correct. Let's look at the third one. We have 12 over 400. So if I used, uh, if I use small numbers, like I used 2. 2 goes in 12 6 times, and 2 goes in 4, 2 times, then 200. Then 2 again. I say 2 goes in this. That's 3. And 2 goes in 20. That's 10. Then this is 100. So with this, I can say, Let me see again, 2 here, 6, 2 here, 200, right? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. And 2 in 6 is 3, 2 in 200 is 100. So I was wondering how you got 1 over 40. Since we're dealing with this. So that is not correct, okay? Okay. Then number four. Let's go to the fourth one. We have 405 over 450. We can use five straight away to divide this. If you say, 
How many fives in 40? That's 8. How many five in 5? That's 1. How many five in 45? That's 9. 5 in 0? That's 0. And again, 9 can divide this, okay? Okay. So how many 9 in 81? That's 9. And how many 9 in 90? That's 10. So again, this other answer is not correct. Okay, let's go to the fifth one. 49 divided by 112. Now, we're going to look for what number can divide both 49 and 112. We can use 7. So how many 7 can we see in 49? That's 7. Because 7 times 7 is 49. So how many 7 in 112? In 11, I mean 7, that's 1. Remember 4 in 42, that's 6. And this becomes our answer. So that's number 5 is incorrect. Are you getting this? Yeah. Are you getting this? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So number six, I have um, 108 divided by 135. So with this, I look for a number that can divide. 135 and can also divide 108. So we can use 9. How many times can 100, can 9 go in 108? How many times? Uh, let me see. That would be 12 times uh, because, because 12 times 9 is 108, right? Yeah. How many times can 9 go in 135? 9 in 13 is 1. And that remains 4. 9 in 45 is 5. Okay. Then we can also divide further with 3. 3 in 12. That's 4. And 3 in 15. It's 5. 4 over 5, not 2 over 3. Then number 7. Please make sure you're concentrating on these explanations. Because after this, I'll give you another one to try, okay? Okay. So number 7. We have 170 divided by 300. You don't even need to think about this. Once you have zeros, that can, can eliminate one other zero. So 17 over 30, and this becomes the answer. Is that clear? Yes. Number 8, we have 30 over 200. Now, since it's 30 over 200, again, you can cancel out zeros. Zero cancel zero, and then you have 3 over 20, which you cannot reduce further. 3 over 20. So not um, 1 over 8. Then number 9, we have 168 over 320. So in 16, yeah. we can use 2, now we all oh, can use 16 because this is, uh, we can't really use 16 because of, so let's use 8, okay? Okay. So 8 and 16, that is 2. 8 and 8, that is 1. 8 and 32, uh, mm -hmm. that is 4. And 8 and 0. So we have 21 over 40. And there is nothing common to 21 and 40. So this becomes the answer, not 1, 2. And number 10, we have 12 over 36. 12 over 36. Just concentrate on this. We how many okay. four can go in twelve? That is three. How many four can go in thirty-six? That is nine. Then three in three, that's one, and three in nine, that's three. So twelve in twelve is one, and twelve in thirty-six is three, not four. Yeah. 
Okay. 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 Then why don't you get the remaining ones numbers? Um, eleven to fourteen. So I'm gonna move it down to the next page. So for numbers eleven to fourteen, this is what we have: number eleven, two hundred and fifty divided by five hundred. This is like halfway, yeah, exactly halfway. So zero cancel out zero. We have twenty five over 50 and 25 years 1 and 25 and 50 is is 2 so that number 11 is 1 over 2 <laughs> that's correct and number 12 for number 12 we have 240 divided by 320 mm -hmm. So you can use a zero to cancel out a zero, then you have 24 over 32. You can use eight. So how many eight is in 24? That's three, eight in 32, that's four. So your answer is three over four, which okay. is incorrect. Then number 13. For number 13, we have 48 over 120. I can use 4 as a goal, so 4 in 48 is 12, and 4 in 120 is 10. So I can still use 3 to divide them. How many 3 in 12? That is 4. And I mean 3 in 10, that is, in 30, that's 10, okay? Then I can still use 2. 2 in 4 is 2, and 2 in is 5. So that means, um, let me check it again to be sure that we are right. Okay, there's a number. Okay, so 24 in 48, that is 2, and 24 in 120, that's 5. So this is correct. So you should be able to check your answer. 2 over 5, then number 14. Let me check your answer. No, that 2 over 5 is not correct. So number 14, we have 64 over 100. Okay, I can use 4. How many 4s in 64? That is 16. How many 4s in 100? That's 25. And this becomes the answer. 16 over 25, not 1 over 2. So I'm going to give you some time to put down these corrections. Once you're through, I'll mm -hmm. give you something to try, okay? Yeah, okay. Composite shapes or multiple shapes like these to find the area perimeter, we have to try as much as possible to separate the shapes. And these are your submitted answers. So listen carefully as we go through it. Let's see how it works or it goes. The first one, if I divide this, we have divided from this, or you could divide it anyhow, but this place is going to be three at the top because the opposite is three. So that means if the total is seven, it's going to be four, and the opposite is four. So this area is four times five, and this area is ten times uh, three. So that means you are right because say uh, this is thirty, and this is twenty, and if you had thirty and twenty. The area of the first shape is going to be 50 cm squared. And to the perimeter, we're just going to add up all of these uh, sides you know, of the total shape without adding this place. So that will be 10 plus 7, 17, 10 plus 3, that's 20. 20 plus 9 should be 29. If I'm right, let's check it. Okay, there is this another place here. So if this is 5, this other place will be 5. So 29 plus 5 is what? So 5. 29 plus 5 is what? 40. 29. 
29 plus 5. 29 plus 5. I said 29 plus 5. 34. 34, right? Yes. Okay. Well, let me check it again because you got 35, so I just want to check to be sure. This uh, is 10 plus 7 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. 20 plus this 9 is 29. And this place, since this is 5, this will be 5, then the extra here will be 5. So we don't need this. We only need this place. So 29 plus 5, this was 34. So that means, uh, so let me see. Perimeter is going to be 34, not 35, okay? So let's go to the second one. Again, we're going to divide the shape and say maybe somewhere here or something. So if we divide here, this is six down there, then this top is going to be two because the total is eight. So this is going to be six. Then the area up here is two times six, and the area down here is ten times six. And 2 times 6 is 12, 10 times 6 is 60, right? Okay. So it's going to be 72. That means you're right. Area equals to 72. Uh, this one is correct. This one is wrong. 72 and m squared. And the perimeter is going to be addition of all the sides again so if this is two this is two if this is six then this place is four because the total is ten here and here is ten so we now had ten plus ten that's twenty plus eight is twenty eight plus six that's thirty four equal to thirty four mm -hmm. So we have so then the number three I have to divide this also. So this is gonna be five times six at the top there. Because this place is going to be 6 and this is 6. So 5 times 6 is 30 meters squared. And uh, 8 times 3, oh, this is not, not going to be 8 because there's 5 here. So 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 times 3, that's 39. So 5 times 6 is 30, and this is 39. 30 plus 39, the area should be what? The area should be what? 30 plus 39. 69. 69 meters squared, not 79. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. So for the perimeter, we just add a product size. So we have 13 plus 6, okay, plus 3. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 6. 16 plus 6 is what? 22. 22 plus 5 is 27. 27 plus 6 is what? 33. What's 33 plus 8? You're not responding. Um, that's 3. 3 plus 8, that should be 41. 41. And uh, 41 plus 3. 4 plus 3, 4. 45, 44, right? Yes. Okay, that is 
left. So this one. And the last one but not the least. We have to divide this one as well. So we can use this is gonna be six. This will be six. And this is five and four. So it is gonna be nine. Nine times six. Four and uh, if this is six, then this is two because of eight, so two times five that's ten. So fifty four plus ten, here we are at sixty four. Yeah, right with that. Then the perimeter. That's 9 plus 6 here, that's 15. Then plus 4, that's uh, 19. And this is 2. 19 plus 2, that's uh, 21. 21 plus 5 is 26. 26 plus 8. 26 plus 8 is what? Um, 26 plus 8. 26 plus 8. That should be 34. That's it. But let's check again. We have 9 at the top here. Yeah. Plus 6 is 15. Plus 4 is 19. Plus 2 is 21. Plus 5 is 26. Plus this 8. Okay. That is 34, not 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got 5 out of the 8 answers. Um, it does not mean that you don't know the rest, but probably when you're multiplying or when you're adding, you may mistake. So, take note of your corrections. I'll give you something else to try, okay? We have a textbook. Okay. Should I send some? Oh, then. Oh, then. Did you hear what I said? Are you hearing what? me? Yes. <laughs> I said, uh, take note of your correction. I'm going to give you something else to do, which is still on these uh, composite shapes, okay? Okay. All right. Password, and this is your submitted stuff. Let's see how it goes. We want to find the area of this shape, we can decide to cut it down, down way or any other. So, so cutting it downwards makes this to be 8 times 9. 8 mm times 9 mm. So the area of this space is 72 so mm square. Good. Then the other side, if we cut it down to um, this, it's going to be 9 times whatever this side is. So and if we six. have removed, yeah, if we have removed three at the top of the nine, then we have six. The nine mm times six mm. Nine times six is fifty-four mm squared. And the third side we have three by three, so three mm yeah. times three mm. And this is nine. Square. Um, square. So the total area is going to be 72 and mm square plus 54 mm square plus uh, 9 mm square. So if you had this 126 plus 9 is what? 135, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Square. Your answer is 
correct. The answer is correct. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, okay, you can send me the maybe one or two questions from your textbook, okay? So that we look okay. at it together. Yeah. Okay.